Hello there, this is Ben Lowe from TribalLabs.net. I'm going to show you today some um, some of the work we've been doing around um, building some more thin clients on top of the EBS agent web services uh, that are currently used in the uh, EBS FE system offered by Tribal. Um, so the, the existing front end is um, for, for agent is, is Silverlight based on uh, just running through, through uh, normal browsers on the PC or Mac and uh, we're looking into uh, putting out other front ends onto this uh, to other devices like mobile devices and tablets. So um, to start off with, because it was just it was Silverlight, it made sense to to do a Windows Phone version first of all. Um, so this emulator on the left here is for the Windows Phone. So if we click on there, then present with a login screen. So I'm going to log in with an admin user I have. Original password, and I won't check the Remember Me button, but it can keep you logged in if you need to. So we we'll log in here, brings you into a, a dashboard view. So, so this is using the existing uh, web services which are available through um, uh, th through through the, the normal agent designer tool. Um, so in EBS itself, this is the designer tool. So for a home page that we're looking at here, we're looking at this home page. It's got a bunch of uh, queries being used here to, um, to to bring back the, the data that we're using um, and then it has uh, layout controls so um, for Silverlight we have uh, tab controls uh, so on, on the, the Windows phone we're interpreting those tab controls you can see the layout here is, is, is displaying the same but I suppose the tab controls is actually going to use a pivot viewer control which is the Windows phone equivalent of a tab control so as you can see I can slide off here and you get to the search and dashboard and uh, actions. Um, clicking on these, you've got all the navigation, takes some more details, um, pictures in there, all the layouts that you get uh, normally in, in Agent. And, uh, and because this is on a mobile device now, you're hooking into all the different functions which are available in there. So things like email, click on email. I've not got an account set up because it's on the emulator, but that, that loads up your, uh, a, a new email for that person, click on the mobile phone number, comes up with their name and the number there, so they call, and that's straight into the Windows Phone um, uh, telephone application. So end that, and then also we've got the text, so I just use the same mobile phone number, so you can see the numbers up at the top there, and then you can start typing in your your message. Send, and off it goes. Um, so I come back to here and also hooking into the mapping software as well. Uh, so it just passes that whole address string straight in there and there we go, there's our, she our Sheffield office. Um, some of these are the, that user doesn't have any, we've gone to this user here, you can see that they've got enrollment set up here. So in the same way as all, all other agent pages, the um, the uh, all the navigation is completely configurable, all the content is configurable, all the layout is configurable. Um, so click on there, it takes you off to um, some some details for, for that course, list of enrollments there, then you can click on a different mem uh, learner there and it comes up with with their, their information as well. Um, go back home here, so also implemented searching here, so you can obviously search for um, that part of a name, and that returns search results there. Um, Obviously, clicking in those takes you back, uh, takes you to the learner details. Um, a, a single, a, a single point for for searching. So, if I put, say, um, I think it's yesterday's date, second, and then put a star in. I can remember how you get two stars. There we go. Search for that. So that's just using wildcards and, and uses a single uh, search field there, but it's searching on names, it's searching on person codes if, if that's applicable, and it's also searching on dates of birth with the wildcards, so it's brought back everyone who had, who had a birthday on the 7th of, of February. Uh, we've got the course searching here as well, so if I put in something like that, it comes back with, with course results, and then you can go in and find the 
to drill down through the navigation structure. So, so that that's one thin client which uh, which I've I've put together for um, uh, hanging on top of on top of those. What I also um, wanted to do was try and come up with other thin clients which would be m more useful. Obviously, this is this is this is using the same data templates which Silverlight uses, so that they come out to the designer. So it's quite easy to implement that, but obviously not not that many people have got Windows phones at present. So there is also a website version. So this is just a PHP website I put together, um, which is looking at my local machine here, um, and I'll log in with that same person. Okay, so now I'm interpreting that um, Silverlight data template, and in the same way as I as I um, reworked it to to fit onto Windows Phone, I'm reworking this into HTML. So it's exactly the same as we had before, except that it's um, it's now being displayed. It doesn't have the tabs; it's just being um, listed vertically here. But it has all the same content, all the same layout. If we um, if we, we go go back to, to here and just go to the home page, then you'll get a good com side by side comparison there of um, of the two. So you can see the dashboard there. Apart from the styling differences, you can see that it's the same data that's on both of those. Or and then once again, everything works in exactly the same way. So clicking on username brings you up there. Clicking on the um, on the name once again, not got an email account set up, so it can't access that. But it, you can hook into the telephone number and make a call via the, the phone like that. Um, not not all the browsers. Oops, still on there. Not not all the browsers uh, seem to support the the text uh, option. Um, and the the map thing also works, but that that's now going off to external um, URL instead for Google Maps. Um, so back home, and you can see that all those the search still works as well. So if I go in there and uh, search for low again, you can see that it's bringing back the search results there as it was before. Uh, so not only does it work on because it's just a website, it's not only working on Windows Phone. If we go onto um, Android here, Android emulator, so I'll log into this with the same username and password. So uh, no, not now. So you'll see that this one uh, brings back exactly the same information again, just being rendered in the uh, the, the browser here in in, uh, in Android, and it works the exact same way on on iPhone as well. Um, once again, we can let's just do a quick search just to sh to show that that's still still working. So let's try let's try a Smith. Just type that in on the keyboard to save a bit of time. So there we go. That's that's bringing up search results. There, click on one of those. See if they've got any enrollment set up. So there's a bunch more information about them. Um, and they've got some enrollment. So click on one of those. And that takes to the <coughs> course details page with the list of enrollments below. So that's all all using the same same uh, functionality. So just using the same web uh, web services and just a simple PHP website that's pushing that out. Um, but just using exactly the same configuration. So only setting up one con one configuration for a mobile view of agent, and um, and that's being being digested by um, a website PHP website as well as native apps like the Windows Phone native app. So one of the next things I'll be looking at is, is um, an Android native app to, to do the same thing, and then an iPhone native app, just to get more of a, a, a better experience for the user. So not only do we, um, so that, that that was using it for an MIS administrator, but if we um, if we log out of here, let's, let's do it on Android for now. Go down to the bottom, press log out. I've got a different user on here as well, which is um, I'm just going to type it in on the keyboard again. Which is Ben Low rather than B Low, and password. Click goes so, so this learner is is set up. Sorry that this user is set up to be a learner, whereas the other 
um, user was set up to be an MIS administrator. So the way that designer works and age. So here you have the Uphone Home, which is the the main screen that that is the the home page for for the mobile devices. And you'll notice that there's two different page versions of this. One which is set up for the administrators, and there's one page here that's set up for the learners as the primary role. So we go back to Android here. So we've logged in as this user, Ben Lowe, uh, who is uh, set up as a learner. So now they they're seeing a different front page to if we go back to this one, go to home page on this one, this one on the left you're logged in as, even though it's still Ben Lowe, but this one, the username is Low, and the username for this one is Ben Lowe. So now both, both showing exactly the same page, home page, but because of the different roles for those people, they get to see a completely different view on things. Um, so from a learner perspective, it's more about um, browsing prospectus and online enrollment and that kind of thing, whereas for tutors, it's going to be browsing all the data there, marking registers and and um, H assessments and progressions and all that kind of thing. Um, so for the learner here, they can then go and search for um, for courses if they want. Um, so coming back in the same way, and um, and then we've also showing that the topics down here as well. So if we pick one of these, one of these here. I managed to get one that's got some courses on it. So that only has one. Let's, let's find one with uh, more courses on that. So let's go for construction. There we go. So there's a number of courses there set up for that topic, and then you can obviously click in here and and um, and for for each of the pages now logged in as this learner, the um, the the, the, the data that's displayed and the um, and the configuration for it can be completely different um, configured specifically for the learners viewing it rather than staff viewing it so show much more of the prospective information rather than the the core course data um, so that's on the website but that's also um, equally applicable to the um, to the native app that's that's here as well so if I log into this one with this other user the learner and password. Uh, log in as this person, you see they get this exact same experience now uh, for the, the learner experience as, as it, it did through the website. So you've got the searching of the prospectus, um, and then it could show you your current enrollment and timetable or any, any kind of information you wanted to. So I'm, I'm not put a huge amount of um, effort into the configuration on here, but it all works in exactly the same way. And it doesn't matter if it's through the native app or whether it's through um, through the uh, through through the website. Um, there's a, a math so you can go off and have a look at more, more thing, information on that and look at the timetables. So remember that the, the, the administrator view didn't have the timetable view, it was showing a list of enrollments there. So it's, it's showing all the different different configurations you can have for, for each of those things. Um, just to show you that on the course details. Once again, there's two pages to set up, one for learner and one for, for, for everyone else. Um, and of course, because it's just uh, a website, the, these are running through the mobile emulators here. But you can also look at the uh, look at it directly in a normal browser because uh, it's configured to work on a, a small screen. Then uh, I've just ma made the uh, the screen quite small, um, so I'll, I'll log back in as the learner again. So that, that's just lo loading up as before. Um, no, no hair and beauty courses. Let's find some. There we go, Be beginner's guitar. Take you in there. There's the more information. So, so it all works in exactly the same way as, as you'd expect. So, um, and because this view is set up for mobile, that's why it's laying out like this. But there's no reason why you can't have um, different configurations for for tablet views and and for sm small mobile devices and and for for normal web page viewing as well. So that's what we've currently been working on with the with the with the agent agent web services. So. Uh, if you're interested, get in, get in touch, leave a comment on the blog post, and uh, thanks for watching.